President Bola Ahmed Tunib was forwarded the 2024 budget's proposal to the House of Representatives focusing on revenue and expenditure, fiscal and development policy, and renewed hope agenda. The proposal prioritizes health care improvement, job creation, youth empowerment, and increased agricultural productivity to lift citizens out of poverty in line with the 2024 2026 Economic Recovery and Growth Plan. The Honorable Minister of the Federal Capital Territory Administration, FCTA, has prepared the 2024 statutory budget proposal of the FCT, which is forwarded here with for consideration and approval by the National Assembly. The budget proposal has been prepared on the basis of the FCTA's revenue and expenditure forecast and is aligned with the fiscal and developmental policies of the federal government and the renewed hope agenda. In addition, the budget proposal takes into consideration the 2024-2026 economic recovery growth plan, as well as key assumptions in the 2024 Appropriation Act. The FCTA is prioritizing improvement in healthcare services, job creation, youth empowerment, and increased productivity in agriculture in order to lift as many citizens as possible out of poverty. Now, the House has called on the National Security Advisor and secret agencies to rescue over 108 abducted teachers and students in Cabinet State, while Honorable Austin and Chado from Benue State has also appealed to the federal government for rehabilitation and security measures. Also aware that factors feelings in security ranging from illicit drug trade, human trafficking, and proliferation of small arms is a serious threat to the development of Kaduna State and the nation, and therefore a coordinated effort encompassing all security apparatus and relevant agencies that include and not limited to the Army, Navy, Air Force, Police, Civil Defense, Immigration, Customs. For us, saddened that the Moradian bandits have for a long time be left to operate in Benin State unhindered and have built up the resilience, capacity, and courage to go into communities, kill and burn down villages without any security challenge. Consequently, many villages now have no access to their homes and farmlands. Honorable Paul Larno from Kogi State expressed concern about recent armed robbery attacks, ordering the federal and state government to collaborate to prevent future incidents. Undoubtedly, Mr. Speaker, several measures to arrest this ugly situation have been undertaken by my humble self. When I was a member of Kogi State House of Assembly, in collaboration with the State Commissioner of Police, that resulted in the deployment of an armored personnel carrier to Ariba Town. But regrettably, Mr. Speaker, the cases of armed robbery are still on the increase with evidence of resultant economic, economic and social consequences. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.